Field off the court. Defense played a great game. We've never got anything going offensively. The game, kind of the opposite of last week, started out. You know, they caught the break on the on the punt and uh, you know, punched that in for a score right away on a day like this. That was going to be a major factor, scoring first and being in that comfort zone of being ahead. Uh, and then we 
Then they had the onside kick, and basically we didn't, I don't think we ran an offensive play until there were three minutes left in the first quarter. And, uh, we just, yeah, the kids played their hearts out. Uh, we just, we had a couple opportunities, obviously. We had a couple of turnovers down in there, a couple in their area. And then the last one on the punt return down to the eight yard line, still had a chance to put it in. Hey, onside kick, who knows? But we, they made the plays and we didn't. I knew when I was going out there that I was going to be a fair catch whatsoever. And uh, I just caught the ball, and, and my, uh, my teammates just set really good blocks. And it was just really easy to just run through the hole. Uh, you can't really put it into words. Uh, just playing football and playing for Yale has been one of the greatest honors of my life. And uh, what the game has to teach you. And hopefully it won't be the end, but uh will be the end for a guy like Bobby. And Bobby is uh, one of the most amazing people I've ever come in contact with. Uh, I can say the same thing about the vast majority of the 34 guys uh, in the senior class. And this is uh, it's definitely not the way that we wanted to, to end our careers. You know, losing to Harvard is uh, never acceptable uh, for this program. And, uh, we just wish we could you know, obviously go back out and do it again, but we can't. Um, <clears throat> but you know, like like Bob says, it's been the greatest time of our lives, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll cherish the, the the good things that we did do for this program, and, and, and make sure that, uh, that the guys who are still here remember uh, this and, and and take it with them next year. This team, you know, I talked to the kids this morning about, you know, we lost the two games in a row by two points, and, you know, we were three and three just past the midway point. And, and we played three great football games in a row, and I think that was a credit to our seniors. I think it was a credit to the leadership of the team. And I, I talked to them, I actually talked to them about it last week, talked to them about, again about it this morning. I may be more proud of that, what they accomplished over the last three weeks under pretty adverse conditions than, you know, we, they won the title two years ago. That wasn't expected. Last year we won nine games in a row. I mean, that was a tremendous experience. But the adversity that they faced midway through this year, I, I thought that uh, these guys really stepped up and, and showed the type of players they are and the type of people they are. It was pretty impressive.